Hello everybody, it's Dee Molesco here. Today I'm gonna show you how I usually do my skin. I get a lot of compliments on social media whenever I post something like a, a makeup photo and everybody always asks me how do I do my skin. So in this video I'm gonna focus on how I do my skin and just since it's been, I've been in quarantine so I haven't been doing my makeup this whole time so whenever I have a meeting, I have something to do, I just want to look a little bit presentable but I don't want to look too over the up since I'm still at home. So in this video I'm going to show you how I do it, all the tips and tricks that I do. So if you like to see how I did it, then please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to start with to create this very skin-like, no makeup makeup look is by starting with a moisturizer. The next product I'm going to use is a face primer. The primer that I'm going to use, it basically helps to kind of smooth down the skin and fill in the pores. So I'm just going to apply it in the areas that I know I have a little bit of larger pores. But I don't want to put it all over because I want to keep that kind of glow that I've got from my face moisturizer. Now that I'm done with prepping the skin with the face moisturizer and primer, I'm going to start with the makeup. So I'm going to start with a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't matter what brand you use, as long as you use something that is very sheer coverage and glowy. It has like a glowy, shiny finish. So I'm going to start with a fluffy brush that is like a, a powder brush. But it definitely gives me more of an airbrushed look. So I'm going to start applying this from the middle of the face. where I have a little bit of like um, freckles, little blemishes, and I'm gonna blend it out. The trick is not to apply too much makeup, to apply it where you actually need it. To have the no makeup makeup look is basically you're gonna apply the makeup where you need it to get the coverage, but less is more. If your skin looking already good, then you might wanna skip this part. I just have a little bit of blemishes with this whole like uh, quarantine I've been eating crap and I've been drinking enough water I guess so my skin has been like freaking out other than that on a day-to-day -day basis I don't usually use tinted moisturizer okay next I'm moving to concealer I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and actually I'm gonna use my finger my ring finger to blend it. And with whatever left on my finger, I'm just gonna go in the areas that I'm a little red, around the nose, a little bit on the chin, but I literally almost have nothing left on my, my finger. So I put a little concealer on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use a small little brush to spa, um, cover the, some of the blemishes that I have. So I have one here. So literally, you don't need full coverage. You just need to spot correct the blemishes you have. And the trick is to actually leave it on for like a few minutes and then you blend it in. Just let it kind of settle down a second. So it's been about a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it. So now I'm happy with how the skin looks like. It looks very fresh, it doesn't look makeup but it looks nice, covered, and glowy. So I'm gonna move to bronzer. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used earlier with a little bit of bronzer. And for the most part, you wanna use things that they're more cream and like a mousse texture, no powders at all. That's how you achieve that very skin-like look. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer and I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks just to create a little bit of color. But I'm not trying to contour. I don't want my skin to look makeup-y. I don't want to look like I intentionally put contour and stuff. I just want a little bit of healthy color. So there you go. So basically I put the bronzer a little bit on the cheeks. A little bit on the forehead. And actually went a little over the nose and a little bit down here. Just something to give me a little bit of color. 
so I'm not like one flat color. For the cheeks, I'm gonna use a lipstick because I love this shade, I just don't have it in a cream blush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a couple of, you know, a little bit of color on my cheeks. And then blend it with my fingers, just very lightly. The trick to create this very skin-like look to make your skin look very, like, not makeup -y, but still look covered and healthy and glowy is to use a lot of creams and liquids to keep your skin nice and hydrated. Less powder. Less powder, the better. Next thing I'm moving to is mascara. I'm gonna put a very light coat on the eyelashes because I don't want them to look very volumized. I just want to look polished and open up my eyes. For the brows, I'm gonna use a clear brow gel. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like to make my, my eyebrows like very fluffy <laughs> or very full. So I just like to make them look nice and groomed. To finish the look, I'm gonna use my chapstick. It's a chapstick with a little tint to it, so. So this is basically it, what I personally do whenever I have like an online meeting and if I'm at home or you know anything I just want to look you know polished and finished but I don't look too makeupy. sometimes I'm just sick and down and I just want a little pick me up just to feel a little better about myself so I just do this to perfect my skin to look fresh and glowy and pretty without looking too makeupy and too heavy but if you want to take it a little extra notch and you want to look you know yeah I have makeup on but I didn't go overboard I'm gonna walk you through a couple more steps that you can do I'm gonna start with like a cream eyeshadow. This is like a bronzy cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna take some on there. And I'm gonna go on my eyelid. And apply it very lightly just to add a little color, a little dimension to the eyes. Again, I'm still going with the same thing, like more creams. I will add more mascara on the bottom lashes. If I personally want to add a little highlight to make my skin look more like glowy, I like to use for more like a balm kind of thing instead of like a powder shiny highlighter. A balm is still going to have that skin like look but it's going to make it look wet. Like if it's, you know, you just woke up with some face moisturizer and your skin looks glowy. So that's the kind of look and feel that I want to have for my skin. So I took a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to press it into the high point of my cheeks. Just to have the little highlight but without looking extra bling bling. So the last step I'm gonna do is lip liner. This lip liner is basically the same shade as my lips. So I'm just gonna perfect my lips instead of like making them look very like lipstick like. I'm just gonna follow my lip just to perfect them. Alright you guys, this is the final look. This is how I've been getting ready whenever I have a meeting or something during this quarantine time. Um, and also sometimes even if I don't have a meeting, if I just want to feel like a little bit better about myself, if I had like a low day, it's been a very difficult time for a lot of us. This was my way to kind of give myself a little like a pick-me-up kind of, you know, feeling and to feel a little bit better about myself, even though I'm not leaving my house, but I want to look pretty in my house too. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit notifications to stay up to date with everything beauty with me. And as usual, all the products are going to be listed in the description box below, and so is where you can find me and follow more of my work. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye.